Are you looking for the best stroller wagons? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best stroller wagons on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Gladly Family Anthem 4 Quad All-Terrain Wagon Stroller. I'm a picky mom. I want pretty much everything I buy for my kids to work well, last forever, look cool, and I want to feel like I got maximum bang for my buck on whatever my purchase was. Gladly Family's Anthem 4 Stroller Wagon not only met all those criteria, but it surpassed them. It's got a great turning radius, ample cup holders and kid-friendly pockets, and it's available in colors that look sleek and stylish. I like that it's low profile enough that my kids can climb in and out on their own, meaning I don't have to fuss with them between every single attraction at the zoo, based on whatever their four-year-old whims might be. The materials feel substantial and durable, but also not swanky enough that I would feel iffy taking a hose to them after a rogue ice cream incident. While I think it could certainly hold four kids, it's also not overly huge, coming in at 41 inches long by 30 inches wide. At 40 pounds, it supposedly weighs a bit more than some of the other wagons I tested, but it feels lighter, perhaps because it's easier to pick up because of the way it folds flat. All that being said, it was easy to assemble, fairly user-friendly, and handled well on street surfaces. I thought the Anthem 4 also handled well on loose gravel, sand, and uneven ground, and I also enjoyed that the Anthem 4's adjustable handle is a sort of hybrid between a traditional wagon handle and a stroller handle, meaning it's comfortable to both push or pull, no matter the terrain. Number 2. Gladly Family Anthem 2 Two-Seat All-Terrain Wagon Stroller While I tested wagons that were cheaper than the Anthem 2, I generally found most of them lacking in some respect. I genuinely feel like one would be wise to spend more on the Anthem 2, especially if you're planning on using this wagon throughout your child's formative years. If you invest in the car seat adapter, you can use this wagon from day one, meaning you could just skip owning a stroller, or a double stroller, altogether. Given that the Anthem 2 is basically the same wagon as the Anthem 4, just smaller, I really couldn't find much fault in it. My one quibble is that it only folds flat, meaning that if you're driving a sedan, you might want to take stock of how much stuff you really need to have in your trunk if you're also planning on throwing this wagon into the mix. Number 3. Delta Children Jeep Deluxe Wrangler Stroller Wagon A lot of parents like this Jeep wagon stroller, and I can see why. It's great looking, comes with a convenient cooler bag, and can handle rough terrain with relative ease. Compared to all the other stroller wagons I tested, though, I didn't think it had the smoothest moves, and I didn't feel that the turning radius was tight enough for my liking. While I like that its one-piece large canopy gave my kids a bunch of sun coverage and included roll-down shades for even more UV protection, I felt like it blocked my view of my kids while I pushed them around. Also, because I've got the kind of kids who want to poke around and test everything in their vicinity that meant that I was constantly being asked to roll the shades up and down, something that they couldn't just do on their own. Additionally, with this type of canopy, if you decide you don't want to use it halfway through an outing, the only place to put it is in the storage pocket, and that space is precious enough as is. Number 4. Even Flow Pivot Explore. The Pivot Explore All-Terrain was the cheapest wagon we tested, and in some ways that was pretty clear. The canopy materials didn't feel quite as luxe or durable, and the overall size of the wagon felt smaller than comparable dual models. The snack and tray table felt perfunctory, and there wasn't as much storage as some of the other models we tested. That being said, I can see the Pivot Explore being good for families with smaller toddlers who really just want to have a rough and tumble wagon to kick around with. Features like the drop-down sides for easy entrance are nice, and I like the idea that the handle flips and telescopes depending on whether you want to push or pull, even though I didn't actually use that option very much. This could be a decent choice if you're looking for a second wagon, or maybe something less for street use and more for beaches and open fields. If you're looking for something a lot better for just a bit more money, though, there are better options. Number 5. Wonderful W4 Lux. The Wonderful W4 Lux Quad is the most expensive wagon we tested by far, but it didn't feel worth the investment. 
It's a nice looking wagon and the leatherette handles add a touch of class. It's certainly sizable and imposing, too, and can easily handle up to four kids at once. But there are wagons that do the same thing for less money and with more flair, so I'd rather just snag one of those instead. One thing I really didn't like about the wonderful W4 was how it handled on uneven terrain. When I took the kids for a walk around the block one day, I encountered a slightly slanted embankment and thought I'd take a run at it to see how the W4 did. Not great, as it turns out, because the wagon is so high up off the ground and so top-heavy that it almost flipped over, kids and all. Also, the wonderful W4 is heavy. When you have the bench seats installed, it comes in at 63 pounds, and it's so big that it feels almost impossible to lift it up. Where are you supposed to grab it? It's just a little confusing, and, again, I don't feel the need to try and figure all of that out when I know there are better, cheaper wagons out in the market. Number 6. Larktail Caravan. Larktail is a relatively new name in the stroller wagon game, and while I admire their scrappy attitude and small business mentality, I had a few problems with this wagon. First of all, it sits too high off the ground, making it feel kind of like a minivan you're pushing around. Second, the canopy set is not included and must be purchased separately. The canopies themselves aren't great. While I love the idea that they have rain and bug covers, it makes them feel a touch bulky, and the second I pulled either cover out, I knew that I'd never get it back in the zippered pouch again. The Larktail canopies sit weirdly high, even when they're collapsed, meaning I had a hard time seeing my kids inside the wagon even though they were just a couple of feet in front of me. This might not be an issue if you're a tall drink of water, but for 5 foot, 5 inch me, it wasn't great, 